can't remember everything but trips and drives that I can remember it is it's scary I can't even sleep at night I first went to Stockburg subway um, I was trying to assist the people that side when Rian and Boris let us know there's people that's got that's busy, busy drowning in the foot like subway so I rushed there where I came on scene Rian was already busy um, trying to assist the Jeff and his family to get out of the vehicle. Um, I tried coming in, but there's just, it's, I wouldn't have made it. The carrot was way too strong to, to get in there. When I noticed the water seeping into the vehicle, I started winding down my window, so I was able to get out. And uh, somehow I've managed to open the back window far enough for my hand to fit in there, and I've basically pressed the window down. Uh, unstrapped the one kid after I was out. I my was wife struggled to get the other baby. Struggled to get the other baby out. I had both of the twins in my hand, trying to keep their heads above water. At the same time, trying to force open a door, which I couldn't manage to do for her to get out. Um, by that time, the the vehicle was basically underwater totally. And I had to make a choice whether I'm going to leave her. Because I can't reach her, or am I going to leave the twins, let them go, and go and save my wife? And that is the hardest choice that was ever put in front of me. I thought, you know, maybe I could, I, I can get lucky to get out through the boot, but that didn't happen. <coughs> I had to force myself out of the window, and that's when I got out. There were stages where I had to step on the roof of the vehicle just to try and get some leverage to stay above water. By the mm -hmm. time she was out and we were lucky enough to grab all of the winch cable that gas towing through it down for us, um, I couldn't feel the car underneath my feet anymore. The, the water level was underneath the I-beam. It looked like a river flowing, flowing through the subway. And Jeff's vehicle was right before the first first steel beam of the of the subway bridge. Rian's bucket was popped this side. <coughs> yeah, basically where we are standing now. We had the winch cable. He was on the on the ledge. There on the of the subway. Pulling his cable down. And then from there, that's where we pulled them down all the way this side to where they could get footing. There were stages where I thought I can't do this. The, the current is too strong. Um, I can't keep the twins above water. My one boy, um, Liam, I thought he was going to die because he was already blue around the lips. I've seen the blood drain out of his face. By the time we got him out, I ran around. I grabbed the two babies. The father passed out. I, I couldn't attend to if I got the babies out. The people, they said, no, wait for ambulances and this and that. When I got out and I see that small baby, I realized it's now or never. I told them, get that uh, father and mother in my bucky, give one baby to the father and one to the mom. Let me get them to hospital. That's the only way to help them. The baby by the father cried the whole time. So he, I don't know, he wasn't too serious, but he was all right. We could have heard him, he's still breathing and crying. But the baby in front, I think uh, I stopped counting, I think about four or five times. We couldn't hear the child. There was a time that I was holding him and he looked at me <clears> and his eyes just closed and his head's going down. And all I could say is, Liam, don't, don't leave us now. It was the hardest time. They've got lung infection and a lot of phlegm on the lungs. They're coughing quite badly. They are on treatment, but they are okay. There's no permanent damages. When it comes to the government, municipality, they are supposed to maintain the stormwater pipes, fix it where it's broken, um, clean it properly so it doesn't <coughs> get clogged up. If it's maintained properly, the stormwater, it's impossible that it will reach to that level. I'm considering legal steps. Um, I um, should be meeting with my lawyer soon. I'm just lucky my other two kids weren't there because my Beautiful oldest life. son is 10 years old, my daughter is 6 and then with the twins I don't think we would have got all of the kids out.